I'm here uh, in the UK with Jay. We uh, paid Jay a visit, and the reason for the visit was this plane, the MiG with the twin props on the back elevons. Jay did this plane. I wasn't much help to him at all on this one. So this is all his, and man, does it fly great. I just flew it a second ago, and uh, it's a spectacular plane. It's uh, easy to fly slow or fast. You can do uh, crazy aerobatics with just the twin props uh, and two servos. You don't have to load it up with servos at all, but uh, the thing's a beautiful plane to fly. Wow, oh, nice. Flops are great, good. Yeah, yeah, beautiful. Still with flaps? Yeah. Amazing how it just hangs there. This is the first time I'm using differential thrust for the rudders. Jay's uh, got that set up nicely on this. And uh, it's actually working really well. I didn't know what to expect. This is Jay's plane and he painted it so nicely, so I'm going to leave him to do the real low stuff. <laughs> but uh, the way it's just hanging there is amazing. I'm going to do some aerobatics with the flaps on. Alright, I'm going to take it up and cut power and do a nice glide test. Parachute test. using the rudder there. The you know, nice thing about this is I'm using it with only uh, elevons and uh, I know there's a lot of guys out there that don't want to do rear prop motors like this, the twin rear props, because it takes a lot of uh, work to make the PSC extensions and put the motors on the back. You have twice of everything, but you can only you can fly this plane really well with only uh, two servos. You save yourself a lot of time by setting up a twin uh, prop plane like this. It's got the props on the elevons and just using two servos. It's got full maneuverability with two servos. So I tell you the build time of doing this twin prop 
uh, plane is about the same as doing a plane uh, with uh, you know regular elevons, uh, but having to double up on servos and things like that to get the maneuverability. Okay, I'm going to bring it in now. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah,